Did you leave? Ah, uh, it's Rowan again. Oh god, Christ, it's this asshole again. Uh, something like that. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. What did I do? Uh, I... I forgot. <laughs> well, or more rather, I wasn't completely sure why when I see a lot of, uh, collars, it's not a choker at this length. Uh, why a lot of collars only have, like, like, ribbon out to that way, and, uh, and then from that, from about, like, here to the end, it's actually just chain. Uh, I didn't think about why that is, and so now I've got this one, and, um, that I made, and it kind of gets all, uh, it moves around a lot more than I like. I need to fix this before I, um, uh, I need to, uh, I need to figure out, like, um, how to, um, I guess perfect this kind of, uh, necklace before I, um, make others that I would put up in my shop. Speaking of which, yes, I know how far behind I am, but, uh, uh, shit's been chaotic between, um, um, medication dosage revisions and everything, and, uh, I feel like it's, I, I feel like it's almost a cop-out at this point, uh, to, uh, point to, um, revisions to my dosage, but that genuinely is, like, that genuinely is a huge issue with what's been, uh, keeping things so backed up, um, you can believe that or not, your choice, just like other things, like you can take my word for it or not, and um, whether you do or not says, probably says more about you than it does about me, so, um, I was, speaking of taking uh, my top off, hey, almost hit the basket, but it's on the bed, right next to the basket. Uh, I probably needed to be like a couple inches more into the bathroom, but oh well. Um, I mentioned something. Oh, laundry. Uh, so the deal with that is I really wanted to do laundry today. I really did because it's not supposed to, it's not expected to rain until, um, I don't know, uh, at least five in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, in theory, I could do some now, or throw it in, but that would, um, stop up how much time I have before, uh, heading out to what passes for a goth night around here. I'd call Factory at, uh, Nectarine more... I wouldn't even call it a proper industrial night. I would definitely call it Dark Alternative. Um, uh, a lot of the music that um, they've been playing lately has been, um, I don't know, some of it is old, like, they play a mix of, like, old school industrial, um, EBM. Um, I'm guessing some of what they've been playing in the last few years since I've been back in town would fall under that, like, witch house sort of deal of... I'm not even sure what witch house is. Like, um, people will play stuff that's supposedly witch house for me, and some of it, it all sounds so wildly different. Uh, thankfully, they don't play anything in the area of dubstep, at least not since I've been back in a town at none of the nights I've been around anyway. It's been a forever since I've gone out, and that's for a few reasons. Son of a bitch, seriously? Uh, it's not really uh, a hair-washing day, though those are probably going to get a little bit more frequent um, through the summer. Oh god, I don't have much time, do I? Uh, there's... Oh, wait. No, no, I am reading that. I was reading it wrong, but... Even still. Oh, God. Do I want to take the 10 o'clock bus? I'm not sure. 
So what was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, right. Uh, laundry? Was it laundry? I think it was laundry. See, I need my meds adjusted again. And I need... Instant. No, this is more... Um, 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 um. Toothache gel. I really don't have any kind of cold sore serums in here. Really? This is my life? Why? Why is it my life? Seriously? Medicine cabinet, please. I, I've got all these little jobbies that I barely use to, uh, uh, brush in between my wonderfully crooked teeth, but... Oh. And I've got one extra of these things that I've decided that... And, oh wait, is this it? No, that's... Uh, that's emergency filling paste. I seriously don't have cold sore medication, son of a bitch, because I've got one coming up right here, and... Of course, just days after I told, um, 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 told the, uh, the pharmacist at Walgreens, no, I don't need that filled right now, um, because, uh, because my primary, she, um, she gave me a prescription for, um, uh, basically, like, outbreak-only levels of stuff, which includes cold sores, and of course, like, because I've been on, uh, valacyclovir for, uh, over a decade at this point, and, uh, she's all like, you know, uh, because she's a DO, and DOs like to, uh, um, um, do, like, the minimum of, um, medications. And all of that. So, uh, so then what happens is, uh, so yeah, she, uh, she switches me to, um, mm -mm -mm, outbreak only, um, dosage and that, uh, and so, like, I've got enough prescription for, like, I got enough refills for maybe three outbreaks for the next 12 months. I'm going to be right back. Don't ask me why this was in the kitchen. Honestly, I don't even remember at this point. Um, but, uh, but then what happened? So, um... Um, um, um. And of course, I, I go into Walgreens to get other things refilled, and really, I don't have the, uh, the, uh, the shaving foil head right here. It's somewhere in here. Right where I want it to be, I don't know. But whatever, I'll make do with this shit right now. So, um... So yeah, uh, and of course, a few days after, now I've got cold sore bubbling right, right there. And, uh, and that's seriously, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, this is a really bad idea, and... So, uh, so yeah, I've got uh, this uh, sample size of the uh, shave cream from Lush, and it's called Prince. I, it's it's named after Prince, so I kind of had to, <laughs> right? So, uh, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm 
you know, it's just been so long since I've gone out. I think I'm just going to get the 10 o'clock bus. I'm going to call for night ride no later than 1. That way, I'm home, hopefully, around um, 2, 2.30ish. No later, anyway. That would be nice, because of crap and stuff, and, uh, so then what happens is, um, 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 oh, right, laundry, I keep coming back and forgetting about the laundry deal, and I really wanted to do laundry tonight, because it, it's a great night for doing laundry, and if I get back just early enough, I could probably just about getting away with, uh, Throwing in a load tonight, then come back up. Um, because the laundry is already in the basket. Um, or at least everything that needs to be done. And, um, so yeah, that's in the basket. And that's great. Uh, so the really, really hard part is done. But, um... <sighs> or at least the hard enough part. Um, I should probably leave this running. Um... But then what happens is, um, the, uh, the neighbors were, I don't know if this was, one of the neighbors or a friend of a neighbor was, uh, in fact, I couldn't even tell if they were on my floor or the one below um, they were just being really loud and obnoxious and they sounded a little on the angrier side all the things, so... If they were... on my floor, that is something I did not want to, um, get involved with. So, yeah, I, uh... So, yeah, I, uh, I'm like, just, just for mental health reasons, I, um, I decided it was not a time to, um, to what? What was the thing it's not time to do? Is there a cat? No, I thought there was a cat camp that came in here. Uh, um, but, uh, but yeah, if, if he was on my floor and he was in an angry mood, I did not want to have to deal with that. So that's why I've put off my laundry today. And obviously there are going to be some people who will be all like, Oh, but, but you know it needs to be done, so why don't you just stay home and do it anyway? And that's great. That's great for you. Maybe you can do that. But I have not been out to... Uh, Necto since, I want to say, since Jeremy, um, retired as, um, house DJ for, um, Mondays, and passed on the reins in some capacity, I believe in part, um, to, uh, Jay, um, who, uh, if you're in the area, you may know him as, um, club photographer and DJ Misanthropia Narcissus. And, I mean, that's all good. I call him Jay. I've, oh, God. Um, he was more of a city club staple back around... When did I start going to the local clubs? I want to say... 99, 2000-ish, so he was more, he's a few years older than me. He's one of a few regulars at, uh, at Nectarine who is older than me. <laughs> 
And um, and then what happens is um, <coughs> so he's one of the uh, the city club staples. Whereas I was a labyrinth staple even before I was a labyrinth DJ. So. Um, and Labyrinth was a competing club, uh, semi-competing, I suppose, um, that was in the same building, but in the basement and on the other side of the building. So there is the, uh, the Leland Hotel, though that time, at that time it was the Ramada, and say City Club is on this side, but it's like, uh, two and a half flights of stairs up. There's allegedly a service elevator that accesses City Club. I haven't seen it. Um, and then on the other side of the building, you know, it would be uh, downstairs. It would be Labyrinth in the basement. And, and, um, and then um, there was all the, uh, <coughs> the water damage and everything. Some many years ago, and, um, okay, so now that I've brought up laundry, I've, uh, and explained why I didn't do laundry, but yeah, I, uh, I'm sure some people would just, like, do the slightly more adult thing and stay home to do laundry, but I haven't been out to the club since January, maybe February? I can't remember, was I out for their... I can't remember if I was out for their, uh, um, the annual, like, Broken Hearts Ball, their, um, Valentine's-ish event. I can't remember if I was out for that. Uh, I usually am, so I might have been, but I don't remember. And when you can't remember the last time you were actually at the club, either it was such a shitty time that... You had to drink plenty to block it out, or it has been far, far too long since you've been out. So I think, where did my, right here, uh, ugh, yeah, at this point, I have to get the 10 o'clock bus at the soonest, and that's all well and good. But, uh... I, this is the only kind of palette I get any use out of. There's a lot of palette. I know so many people um, with the, you know, even if they're not primarily, like, you know, beauty tubers um, in or out of the, uh, the goth tube circles. Um, even if they're not, it's, uh, like, everybody loves the palettes. They love... Like, Hi, cat. What are you doing? They, uh, you know, people get so excited when new palettes, especially um, with uh, from certain brands or um, certain uh, beauty influencers and all of that, working with such and such brand. Um, all right, this one. Um... People get so excited about palettes when a new palette comes out, and especially if it is um, an eyeshadow palette. I eyeshadow palettes. I I have seen so many that I've thought maybe I could seriously. What are you doing? But, uh, I've seen so many that I thought, you know, maybe I could get this, but realistically, am I going to use more than half of these colors? And if the answer is no, then I don't get it. And that, uh, that is pretty much why I have very few eyeshadow palettes. Um, if I'm buying eyeshadow... I will buy singles, and I'm sure this... I'm sure there are people who I even generally adore on YouTube or whatever, and maybe they're not even, you know, the, uh, the, the makeup tubers or 
whatnot. And cats, seriously, for now, you do not need to be here. I'm not making up kitty. No. I love you. You're very cute. You're very cute, but there's like... Oh god, yeah, there's still my razor here. I should put this away. So, um... So yeah, I'm sure there are plenty, plenty, plenty of people who I generally adore on, uh, on various parts of YouTube for whatever reasons who would just be flabbergasted that I tend to, um, stick with, like, single eyeshadows. Um, this is, this is, like, one of the few palettes that I own by technicality. It is a palette. It has, you know, uh, six colors to it, and, um, I think I have used, yeah, the City Mini palette. I think I have used all of them in here, but not equally. Um, then what happens? Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's like my, uh, oh, then there's this one. This is also a palette that I I know I've used all of these at least once. But, uh, but again, I don't use them equally. So, uh, so, uh, so then it's like, I don't know, I, I, if somebody wants to have a bunch of palettes with, uh, you know, even if they don't see them real, themselves realistically using all of the colors and, you know, not even necessarily equally. I mean, obviously I don't use all of the colors in the, uh, the few palettes I have. I think I gave away my last, like, big, like, I don't know, like, 14 shade palette to my friend Willow. And those are all powders, so if you've got a, uh, a what, um, a little fingertip bottle and some rubbing alcohol, a lot of people will, uh, um, you know, sterilize that way. And, uh, but yeah, even that one was dumped off on me by an ex, cause, um, I can't remember if it's something he got while he was playing around with makeup for a couple of years, or if it's something his, uh, his ex, who was a lady, got and left at his place, um, she also left about two computers at his place, and he, uh, he dumped both of those off on me, and because for some reason I have a reputation with some of my friends as the computer guy, and I'm like, I, I barely know what I'm doing when it comes to computers, and I mean that. It's like... Technically, I built the desktop computer I have, which needs a new power supply, and hopefully one of the two, <laughs> one of the power supplies and the two that, uh, that Calvin dumped off on me will fit my desktop, and I won't have to completely reconstruct it, but, I, like, technically I did build that, but, um, there were a lot of points where I was talked through it. Um, by a friend. So, um, yeah, like I said, technically I did build it, but, like, I was not without help. It's not like I was completely going solo on this build, and I still don't even, like, the reason, uh, so my, um, 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 my station manager, WFKU, and my show is once again on hiatus because, um, uh, the, um, the build of Mix with the two X's, the freeware DJ program that I use, it is not stable with Windows 7, and my laptop is only running Windows 7. In fact, it, uh, 
it um it did what it um it had Windows 10 during the free upgrade period. I got Windows 10 on it. But then something like maybe a week later, after the free upgrade to Windows 10 ended for that, <laughs> uh, it had to, it needed a hard reset. So that reverted it back to Windows 7. And stupid me didn't have a, uh, didn't have a backup of Windows 10 that I could install on there. And... Even if I did have a backup, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if there was some kind of key I would have had to do. I don't remember. I really don't remember. So it's running Windows 7. And the reason it's running Windows 7 is because, like I said, I dumb shit me didn't, you know, back up the, uh, the Windows 10 upgrade in any way. And even if I did, I'm like, would that even still work? Like, would it? I don't know. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the thing, the thing, it's not stable. The mix is not stable with Windows 7, and it crashes. Something like, if I'm lucky, it will go 20 minutes between uh, mix crashing and me having to basically reboot mix. On the good side, I don't have to reboot the whole computer, but I do have to reboot mix, and, um... But more often than not, I can barely get through a whole song, so... Yeah, I've got maybe five minutes. Five to ten minutes. But, yeah, if I'm lucky, I can get a full, like, twenty, maybe twenty-five. If... the... DJ gods are being especially kind toward me. And, um, and then what happens, so... Um, 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 um. Mm -mm. Ch -ch 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 -ch. What's this? Oh, I remember this. Not a big fan of this. But this is creams, so I'm... I'm very cautious about whether or not I should dump that off on somebody who I think would appreciate it more, because, um, you can't, um, uh, you can't really, um, the thing, you can't really, uh, um, do the same thing with, uh, with creams. Most creams, anyway. I don't know if there are some creams where you could, in theory, give them a spritz with rubbing alcohol and assume it sterilized to some extent anyway uh but yeah i don't know i don't know so i'm just i'm just like yeah let's just um i could probably i don't know I, i'll probably get some use out of this it's one of those uh uh metallic lip kit ensemble things from maybelline it's called python so the base is a, is a dark blue, which has kind of been my default lipstick shade, and I've been seeing them less and less lately. So when I see, when I see like a, a, lip, a lip color line, especially a liquid form one, like go on clearance, and there's still like a bunch of blue, um, uh, love it, there's still a bunch of like dark blue, like, um, like this. I love the, uh, the NYX Soft Matte Moscow. This is, this is one of my go-tos now, and, um, and then there's a, uh, and there's a cream stick version of, it's a very similar color. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I'd say that they're identical, but they're very, very close. That's uh, Midnight Muse. You'd think if they were the exact same color, NYX would just call them the same color. Uh, but that's not necessarily a guarantee. Um, which one do I feel more like? Yeah, these are both matte. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been defaulting to, uh, this is not what I wanted to do, but, um, oh, right. Yeah, the thing that I'm not the hugest fan of is this gold over, overlay for it. I'm like, I can go either way on that, but it is a dark blue base, and that's kind of been my go-to lately, is a dark blue, uh, lip color rather than a black. Uh, 
I, uh, I had this video idea ages and ages ago that of, uh, rating black lipsticks that I, uh, found either on the drugstore cosmetics side at Ulta or at Honest Acorn uh, drugstores like, uh, well, like the Walgreens that I always go to for my meds. And, uh, but then, um, Two Broke Goths beat me to it, and, I don't know, I might still, because I think I might be able to, uh, give it my own kind of spin, but if it's, if, if I decide to return to that idea, and it's still too similar to theirs, then I'm like, I'll just recommend theirs if it's like, if, uh, It's like, what a... I don't, I don't want to do things too much like what other people do. And, uh, that's not something I'm very happy with. Like, if I, if I discover that something I already did and published, like, even if it's just something that I wrote for a blog, uh, if I later discover that's too similar to what this other person did sometime before, um... I will become very upset with myself to some degree because <laughs> because it's like no I should have known better I should have known that this is not something that you know I, I, it should have at least been something that I looked for ahead of time you know before I made my version of it cuz uh, at least I feel like I should have so don't judge me like, yeah, I should have, um, this is a different brush, but I'm like, yeah, I probably coulda, shoulda, woulda, um, properly washed it before, but whatever, I'm already, like, so far behind on, uh, um, going out to the bar tonight. But yeah, I, uh, like I said, I might return to that, uh, black lipstick rating video idea. Like I said, if I don't, if I decide that my result is, or, you know, my own video, however I do it, is too similar either in tone or in lipsticks reviewed, like if there's too much crossover, and, uh, and the tone, because they're pretty sarcastic too, and I get fairly sarcastic myself, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's a, that's kind of a big deal to me, like if the tone and the overlap of brand is, if it's too similar, I, I won't do it. Um, want to get the mirror out for this one time this was when I was still fairly young and experimenting with makeup on my own I once actually um god I can't remember which eye it was now but I do remember tears like pouring down my face because I I thought I was being clever and I went to like you know go apply mascara blind basically uh, you can see how close I hold the mirror to my face and I accidentally like stuck the tip of the uh, of the brush on my eyeball, and that was like there is a very very short list of people I would wish that upon. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I wouldn't say it is the worst thing ever, but. It's a very, very short list of people I would wish that upon. And, uh... I 
Now, the reason I thought to uh, do a video rating lipsticks, uh, black lipsticks especially, I don't know. Like I said, I've gone, I've kind of defaulted to dark blues lately. Uh, mm -mm -mm. And I think my lip liner, what the hell is this one? I cannot see the name of the brand on this. Oh. Hitting it in the light just right, I think it says Cover Girl. I don't know, does this look like Cover Girl to anybody? I don't know. Um, I will be right back. Uh, okay, so, I'm bringing shit in here for the light. The light in my front room is not great. It's not great lighting in there. Uh, in no small part, I'm sure, due to the fact that uh, I have no proper overhead light uh, in my front room. I have, what do I have? I have the floor lamp um, on the side with my um, and the floor lamp on the side with my um, my thing, my thing, my thing, my wicker chair, my big beautiful wicker chair, and it's in my backpack. better be in my backpack. So, uh, so yeah, I've got the floor lamp on that side. And on the other side, I do have what is, I guess, technically, and uh, yes, it is. I do technically have overhead lighting coming out of the ceiling, but it's not very good. Like, uh, even with the brightest possible LED bulb that I could find that would fit the... Jesus Christ. That's right. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I had a glitter incident. I don't know how the hell this came open, but it did. And this was... This was still... I've had this forever. I don't even know if Jerome Russell makes the pixie sparkle again. But it was like up to here, and that's one of the great things about glitter, is that it, like, almost never goes bad. And, uh, and yeah, somehow it ended up opened, and, uh, shit, 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 shit. And this is what I was looking for, and, okay. Wait. Ultra Dare, what the hell is that? I don't remember this lipstick name. But, uh, then what happens? Um, oh, right, I was mentioning, like, the, uh, the lipstick that inspired me to, uh, do a black lipstick rating video. Oh, God, this is seriously the worst black lipstick. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> 
I don't think I'm going to have time to make going out really worth it because the bus is like 40 minutes each way. Um, even at this time of night. Shit. Eh, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll just keep doing it. Whatever. I mean, I know I set my watch. I know I set all my analog, analog clocks a little on the fast side to, um, to keep from missing the bus. So I can't remember exactly how fast this is. They're all up to five minutes fast, and they're all set slightly differently so that I, uh, so that I don't, like, um, get in that little trap where it's like, okay, I know this clock's five minutes fast, you know, and, you know, and, uh, and that, you know, I know that they're all, like, five minutes fast, um, because, you know, what's, because, because that would get me in this trap, and I'd be, and then it's like, what's the point of having your clock set fast? So, uh, but yeah, that, uh, that line called, uh, uh, the Katy Perry endorsed line from, I think it was a cover girl, um, partnership with her, and something like Katy Cat Matt, the, uh, oh, that's right, I got rid of that as soon as I had an opportunity to, um, It is seriously the worst lipstick I have put to my face in a long ass time. It is, it's not even really matte, it's a sheer. It's a sheer, it's sheer. Oh, that's what this one is. Okay, yeah, I don't want gray right now. Why did I pick up gray? Um, but it's sheer, like, it's a black, but it's sheer, so it's like a... It's... No, that's the eyebrow gel. Um, shit. What was the other thing? I put it on for my, uh, for my, um, book review video. Oh, right here. So it's kind of like if you've, uh, tried the, uh, the NYX, um, lid lacquer. I don't know if this is still around. I haven't seen it in a while, but, you know, a little dab will do ya, uh, for this stuff. Um... This is one of those things where, so it's, it's a black, it's, it's a very sheer, it's like kind of a, uh, and it's called the lid lacquer because it's, you know, got a shininess to it, and, um, you know, it's more like a gloss, it's more like an eyelid gloss, I'll put it that way, and it's about this sheer, like this is, this is not, um, um, I know in the little display on the shelf, the little pictures they've got on there, um, they, uh, this is the same thing. Where's the, uh, where's the Midnight Muse that I just had? Um, so yeah, the, uh, the Katie Cat Matte, it's about as sheer as this, because on the display with, uh, NYX, at least when they still had it, I don't know if they still do this. And I probably keep my makeup much longer than anybody should, but that's okay, because it's my face, uh, that's all it, uh, my face is the only face it ever touches, and, um, and then what happens? And seriously, I just had this. I just had it. Ah, uh, but um. So yeah, uh, the display with this for uh, the next, at least, like I said, I don't know if they still do it or not. Um, but if they do, or if yours, or if, like your Alta or something, or whatever place you buy it at. If they still have the NYX lid lac or um, with the full display thing, uh, you would see that it's got a. Um, um, they kind of pitch it as like like an overcoat for your other eye colors to like give it this uh, this sort of like smeary black kind of look to it. That um, uh, the, they're basically rebrand it. Uh, it was that time. A couple years ago, something like that, where uh, they were trying... Uh, I have a rant about this at some point. I probably should have done it at the time when it was being pitched as a makeup look sort of thing. Um, they were they were basically rebranding because when I was in high school in the in the in the mid 90s, the look was called heroin chic. 
But, of course, that got backlash from a lot of people, especially parents, for what should be obvious reasons. And, uh, and then what happens is, um... No, this is an unused thing of, uh, Moscow, the, uh, the other one. Where is... This is gonna drive me nuts. Um... And this is where I get hyper-focused, and I can't do anything when I get like this. Because that's, that's a thing. It's like, with uh, ADHD, it's like you can't, it's, um, um, you know, it used to be sort of, um, um, categorized as a behavioral disorder, and that's, uh, because I had, a I had, a uh, there were family friends when I was in junior high and high school who had been reading up a bit more on um, what they were learning about ADHD. At the, it was sitting right in front of me. What the hell? Um, what was, uh, like, then new information about ADHD. And, um, yeah, that it's not a behavioral disorder, it's a neurological disorder. And, you know, uh, and ADHD brains, at some uh, neurological level, just simply function chemically different from non-ADHD brains. And, uh, and then what happens? But my dad was having none of it because like, when he... Because uh, he was almost 40 when I was born. He was, he was my age I am now when I was born. Which, um, if you've seen enough key videos, you can probably figure out exactly how old I am, but I still reserve my right to, uh, continue to mess with people about my exact age. Uh, especially after I was 35, three years in a row, and nobody noticed. Especially Lansing J, because he was the one I told each time. But, uh, then what happens? Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like they were, they were suggesting to my dad, you know, do you think, you think, you know, the kid there ha might, you know, be, might have ADHD because, you know, there's this, this, and this that makes me think that's what's going on with them and, you know, why certain, like, you know, why it can be like pulling teeth to get me to do anything in a timely fashion, even when I was at an age where it should be expected that I could manage my time, you know, a bit more efficiently than most people, unless, you know, but you know, my dad's, um, my dad was more um, like, no, 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 uh, that kid can't do anything on time because they just don't want to, which, you know, in, in, with some people, that could very well be the case, and it's not ADHD, it's not depression, because that can also, um, contribute, um, to that kind of thing, but, you know, when it's a person who's, um, when it's a person who's got depression, um, um, especially like bipolar depression, either, you know, like the, uh, you know, it's like, um, like either the depressive periods or the manic periods, uh, are basically like overruling any sense of, um, executive function. Like, you know, they're overruling your executive function. In my case, it's not a, uh, it's not a, it's not about depressive swings or manic swings, you know, which my dad thought was the case, uh, especially after he'd read in places that, um, uh, bipolar disorder, which, uh, uh, something that, um, his sister, my, um, my last known-to-be-living aunt, um, <laughs> uh, she was diagnosed with, uh, with bipolar disorder back when it was still called manic depression, and, um, and then what happens? Um, so he'd read somewhere that that can run in families, and I was briefly in junior high diagnosed with uh, bipolar disorder, but then I was re-diagnosed with 
uh, several other things. And um, but yeah, I uh, I brought up um, I brought up um, 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 ADHD to um, my therapist. Not the one I'm seeing now, but the one I was seeing uh, about 12, 13 years ago. Um, I brought that up to her, but that's not one of her specialties. Um, so uh, she said, uh, if, because um, she was looking, that's not one of her specialties. So she had to go t back to the, uh, the DSM, which I think at the time was still DSM 4, maybe 4.5. Um, but yeah, she went back to the DSM, and um, I know it's now the DSM-5, I think, I can't remember if it was 4 or 4.5, 12, 13 years ago, but, uh, so yeah, she went to that, and, um, she was going over some stuff with me to, you know, see, you know, if it at least made any kind of sense where she's sitting as a you know, mental health professional, and, um, and so it's like, I checked off, like, I know for a diagnosis on a lot of things, um, um, at least the DSM that she was consulting, like, they wanted, like, a minimum of, like, I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but, um, I don't remember exactly, but I remember that I, uh, you know, it's like, say hypothetically, because I'm just pulling a number on my ass, because this was 13 years ago, and, uh, you know, like, say they wanted, like, a, you know, like, out of nine things, they wanted you to check off a minimum of six, so more than just a little over half, and ideally, you would want, like, certain defining traits in this as well, and I basically checked off, like, like I said, out of a hypothetical nine, I checked off eight, so... <laughs> Uh, but I was seeing her for, um, um, to be able to ac access, um, transition stuff, you know, um, uh, in my case it was, uh, chest surgery first, then hormones, cause you do not want to near my bra size before then. My bra size before surgery, my last one ever, that's why I walk with a cane at my age, which is... Realistically, it is not quite 40, but I did have my first 40th birthday, I can't remember now, was it two years ago or three? Or would it be three now? I don't know. I don't know. I I tell people a different age, like, in person, almost every time. And now it's like, yeah, I could get the 10.30 um, o'clock bus, but at that point it's like, even if I did wait to call night ride until one, it's like I'd get like I'd leave at ten thirty, uh, takes so I wouldn't be there until ten after eleven. That's assuming the bus is on time. Uh, <laughs> so it's like I won't get there until at least ten after eleven. So eleven to midnight, midnight. To, I wouldn't even have a full two hours because um, technically the night ride it can. It can take between five minutes to an hour to pick you up. So even if I did call it one, it could be there at like 105. And I'd just be like, but I want to get my last 10 minutes, just 10 minutes to make it feel like it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm going out next week. Um, assuming every, I don't know, assuming I can. Uh, but then what happens? So I guess now this is a get ready with me for... I don't know. I could shoot another video tonight. This video size limit. I don't know if we're talking size limit. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, right, right. Uh, so yeah. Um, ADHD. And, uh, I think this was one of the things I was trying to get at. Uh, but yeah, my dad My dad was having none of it because, you know, hearing it from, from friends. Like, even family friends who worked in mental health in some capacity because <laughs> he knew a bunch at his AA meetings and my stepmother was um was um 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 she was going back to school to be a social worker um and she was a social worker but she wanted to be a clinical social worker I don't know
Is that the kind of thing a clinical social... I don't know. She wanted to be some kind of mental health professional. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I know she, you know, her, uh, her primary income was, uh, social work. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, of course, as a social worker, she's interacted with mental health professionals as well, and she kept up on, um, the, uh, the peer-reviewed, um, journals and everything. Uh, but yeah, my dad was hearing none of it, because, you know, in his mind, you know, going back to the, um, 60s, 70s, and 80s, when he was... Actually, most of the 60s, he was hopping freight, so I guess he wasn't pit keeping up on things during that decade, but definitely, like, 70s and 80s, like, he, he was familiar with um, ADHD being, you know, a behavioral disorder that kids could outgrow, in theory, or so a lot of people believed then, and, um, and yeah, um, so yeah, like, now the science is that, um, you know, uh, if, if you outgrow it, it's not true ADHD. It's, it's just being a kid. <laughs> it's just being a kid. It's like, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, but, yeah, and, um, um, but I, I wouldn't, um, it's, it's definitely not a, it's not something that you would call a behavioral disorder. It's definitely not something that you can outgrow, but it's more, uh, I, I what was the term I saw somebody use uh, more recently? That it's uh, it's 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 a disorder of the executive functions that um, that we all learn, um, and um, and I would um, uh, you know so it's all learn uh, it's all something that we can learn I guess maybe in this way. Um, uh, it might be comparable to a learning disability, um, but not quite, because it is your neurology that, um, it is your neurology that, uh, that, that controls, um, that controls this, and, um, how well one is able to execute the, uh, you know, the, the executive, um, functions that we all do, like managing time, like, um, 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 um there's other ones, yeah. um, uh, regulating emotional responses, um, I, I do prefer that phrasing over regulating one's emotions that I see a lot, because, um, you know, there, there is, there is, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, or if it's just, like, a lot of people I know leaning towards some kind of confirmation bias because, um, um, because of whatever, but, um, there is, there is a, um, 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 what's that word? Uh, there's a word, there's a word, there's a word, um, shit. There's an involuntary emotional, um, you know, like, like, emotions are, um, are not the most voluntary of feelings, of course, you know, it's like, uh, it's like your other, like, physical senses, it's like, you know, somebody can touch you and you'd feel that unless you had, um, some kind of disorder of the skin, you know, or some kind of disorder to the tactile sensations, you know, like, there was something in your neurology that meant you couldn't necessarily feel somebody touching your arm, but, uh, so yeah, like, emotions, there's an involuntary, um, mechanism to the brain, so when people say something about, like, oh, regulating emotions, that's, um, that's an executive function, it's more like, um, it's more like you can regulate your responses, to your emotions and how you react to certain emotional stimuli. Like, you would still feel, um, you, you could still feel sad, um, and that's not going to be a voluntary feeling. Like, somebody could tell you, you know, that, uh, you know, your, your sibling just died in a horrible accident, and, you know, you would, you would involuntarily feel um, feel, like, just surprise and shock and anguish and, um, and sadness, but, um, what you, what most people eventually learn to regulate 
is how much of a physical response we put out for, you know, that others can see. So it's not, like I said, that's, that's kind of why I feel a bit iffy about saying, oh, you know, regulating your emotions is an execution, because, you know, because not really, like, regulating your responses to your emotions is something that most people do end up learning to do to some degree of proficiency. But, like, <laughs> but it's like, can you really control um, how certain things that are outside of your control make you feel emotionally? And the answer is not really. Um, you can, uh, um, you know, if you, uh, I guess with proper content warnings, you can avoid certain things if you know this will make you feel sad involuntarily, you know, or make you feel some discomforting negative emotions. Like, if you know ahead of time that, um, somebody's, uh, you know, that this movie is going to, um, be about somebody who died from cancer and, you know, your parent recently just died of cancer themselves. Um, 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 um. And it's still, like, too soon for you to really, um, you know, want to um, bring those emotions back up, then you know to avoid the movie. Um, so, um, I don't know. I don't know where else I was going with this. All I know is that, um, yeah, by the time I finished, like, you know, the general look of my face, I was just like, there is, like, no time to go out there now, like, uh, cause my watch was saying 10 after, and so it was at the earliest 5 after, you know? <laughs> and at that point, it's like, the bus has already done been gone. The bus has already done been gone, honey. So, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah... Uh, you know, this is a great, um, not sure what order I'm going to do these in, but, um, I do, um, I don't know, I do have another, um, book review that is backed up, a book that I finished in March, and I've kind of been nursing this, or was it the first week of April, somewhere along that, like either late March or early April, I Oh no, actually that was a really thin one, so probably late March, um, but um, but um, but um, yeah, the other one is an anthology of short stories, and I've kind of been nursing that one because, um, let's see, uh, definitely the first one in the book was really good, I really loved it, and I can't remember if I'm on the, th if I'm on the third or the fourth one right now, but I do know the one before the one I just finished, Actually, no, uh, that would be, like, I don't know, fourth or fifth. But yeah, the one I just finished was really good, except for a couple little weird sort of things thrown in toward the end that just make me go, why? But, uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, I can't remember if I just finished the third one or the fourth one, but I do know that the one before the one I just now finished, uh, that was just, like, that was just kind of bad. That was just kind of bad. And I found myself just, like, like, almost dreading <laughs> to pick it up and finish the story. But, um, you know, it's not just for my own enjoyment that I'm reading this book, but it's also for a review. And so it would only be fair to every short in the book to finish it <laughs> thoroughly. And, you know, uh, and, and when I say it's bad, it's not like... I want to say it's not like it's not terribly written, but it does stupid things. 
it does stupid things, and a lot. some of the dialogue is just so stupidly worded, and I, I'm not a fan of that one. I'm really not a fan of that one. And, um, and it took me a bit, but I realized, um, there, I realized, like, right, maybe, like, the third or fourth page of this one, that, uh, that, uh, that I'd actually heard of this story long before I read it, and, <laughs> and, and the, the, the review of the RPG that it first appeared in, uh, was not at all favorable, but, um, <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, the, uh, the, the reviewer of the RPG, like I said, it was not at all favorable, but then I read some backstory on the RPG, and it's one of those deals where, oh god, where, like, basically production hell, um, can explain a lot of the weirdnesses about it, or at least... The, uh, the background that I've read about the RPG, the, that it leads me to that conclusion, anyway. So, uh, but yet, I have the last ever published copy of the RPG. It is now out of, actually, it's been considered long out of print for some time, but there were, like, two copies in a storeroom at the UK, um, location of the online face of the shop, and... Um, but those had both gotten water damaged, so because I'd already paid for it, uh, <laughs> they hastily printed up one last copy <laughs> for me. Um, it's possible they may make one copy after this, just for, uh, I don't know, for like, for some other reason, but as far as everybody's concerned, mine is the last ever copy of the RPG, and uh, I still have yet to crack that one open, um, beyond just like some brief skimming here and there, like I do with all the RPG books that, uh, I, uh, that I end up picking up before buying them, and I still have yet to, like, have my own proper RPG night for any of them, but, um... <laughs> Oh god, I haven't been in a long-term, uh, tabletop, um, you know, um, um, RPG with the, like, whole book and story- <coughs> With the whole storytelling thing. Since just before I moved back to, uh, to Ypsilanti. But, um, but yeah, <sighs> skimming through parts of the, uh, the RPG that I am referring to, and if you are aware of, like, if this is not your first video of mine, then you can probably easily figure out which RPG I'm talking about. That's because of other videos I've done, including a couple of fairly recent ones. Well, one fairly recent one, because uh, like I said, you know, like, I did a review of a novel, I've got a review of another novel, and now I'm uh, doing a... Because for some reason, I decided it was a good idea to do these in publication order, or at... I don't know, I'll have to figure out what... Or, oh, that's right, the, uh, the RPG did come out before this... Uh, short story anthology at the very least, so... <sighs> it's not a perfect publication order that I'm doing the reviews in, but um, it's one that makes sense to me. I'll put it that way. But yeah, you can probably figure out what RPG I'm talking about. But yeah, the... Uh, while I was doing a quick... Um, while I was doing a quick... Uh, um, 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 flip through and skimming of the, uh, of the RPG... I think, uh, plus, uh, plus my friend, uh, Jean-Pierre, he, um, uh, he looked up a couple of, um, a couple of what, of what, of what. He looked up a couple reviews of the RPG because he saw my Instagram post where I posted a, uh, photo of the, of the RPG book itself, plus a novel that I got in the same <sighs> delivery package from, uh, from, uh, from what? 
uh, from the publisher, and he, uh, and so he thought, you know, just like the cover art, he's like, okay, this, this has got to be interesting, you know, with, <laughs> with all of these words <laughs> in the title and, you know, new and interesting words. So he, uh, he looked up a couple of reviews and he just, and he decided that, uh, that most of the reviews, that, uh, or at least some of the worst reviews of it, uh, like the most scathing reviews of the RPG, all come all came down to a lot of uh, cis het men, <laughs> um, do you know, who review RPGs as, <sighs> if not as a part of their profession, then as an incredibly passionate hobby, um, and so they also cater to other cis het, usually white guys. Uh, as that, especially at the time of publication, was the majority of the, you know, tabletop storytelling style RPG, um, audience. And so, yeah, so, P so Pierre was just like, you know, this just looks like a bunch of guys who are just, like, really uncomfortable with the setting for, uh, for, for this. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and then he and I got talking about, um, <clears throat> about, like, um, you know, like, uh, cause, uh, cause when people get around to reviewing the game mechanics, it does, it does kind of come off as something that just got held up in production hell, and so, con so, like, there were some weirdnesses to the editing and some of the mechanics, but it's not something that is necessarily unplayable. If that makes sense, you know, it's not something that's necessarily unplayable. Like, when you come to a weirdness in the game mechanics, there's probably a workaround that can be done. Uh, he and I were talking about maybe, like, co-running or something, you know, a game night with this, but I don't know what the hell he's up to right now. I think he might be traveling as, uh, he's a body piercer, so I think he might be traveling, I don't know. I know he lives, like, up around the corner from me. <laughs> And we both found this out kind of by accident, but that's another story for another time. Um, but yeah, he was looking it up, and like I said, when he came to the portions of the review of the RPG in question uh, that specifically addressed game mechanics, you know, it was, um, 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 oh god, I forget, I forget what he, what he was saying, that's nowhere near as bad as this one. And it's not, it's definitely not GURPS. GURPS is, uh, GURPS is a, is a, is a, is a, is a game mechanic system, not a proper RPG. It was something, uh, something, something, something. And, uh, <clears throat> shit, I forget the, I forget what he was referencing, but I know I was the one who pulled up Fatal. <laughs> I know I was the one who referenced Fatal in talking about, like, an RPG that is in, completely unplayable. And, and that's the thing, like, one of the things that Fatal is so infamous for, aside from the fact that it is like a 900 page PDF, <laughs> thereabouts, I don't know if I've rounded up or down, but it's in the area of a 900 page PDF, um, when, uh, you know, when, when you go to purchase it or, you know, download a pirated copy. <laughs> Which you were definitely recommended to do because uh, um, the, the the one main guy behind Fatal gets like he is such a dick dickweed about it <laughs> when when anybody gives any kind of you know even the most constructive of critiques about uh, about Fatal and how awkward and messy the game mechanics are uh, he he will like so aggressively, like, jump down anybody who has anything bad to say about Fatal. And yet, this is one of those games that's kind of infamous. I know this is, like, one of the big ones. Um, there might be another... Uh, there's there's definitely another one, probably another two or three, that are known for, like, it is completely possible that in the character creation stage, your character will die. So it's like... <laughs> And that's one of the funny things about Fatal is like you know the uh, the the main the main dickweed behind uh, the fact that Fatal even exists as an RPG is <laughs> he loves to pitch it as like the most realistic RPG ever like like there are tables to roll for like nipple circumference 
and the areola circumference. So it's like two different circumference charts you're rolling. Um, vaginal depth, um, anal circumference, and anal depth are things you roll for in character creation. What do you want? What do you want? But yeah, it is completely possible in the character creation stage for Fatal that you can die in the character creation stage. Like, it is, this is for real, a thing that happens when people have tried in an attempt to review Fatal as an RPG. So, you know, they, they, they go through, the, they, they're like, you know, going through things to work out the game mechanics and see, okay, how is this supposed to work? And, like, their characters have died, and they'd have to go back to the beginning and start creating a whole new character because their character died in the creation stage. Like, this is literally... <laughs> So yeah, I, it's nothing that bad. In fact, uh, one of the oh gosh, I did a uh, I did a live stream where I'm reading from something. I think this is like either my first or my second um, live reading stream where I'm reading from something. And I remember because I had it pulled up on my tablet, um, which is so old. <laughs> so I had it pulled up on my tablet, and there are only two kinds of things that I will do a live reading of from my tablet. First and foremost, Chuck Tinglers, <laughs> because <laughs> uh, they're published digitally, and that's how how you do it, right? Um, and the other was the review of the RPG, and uh, no, 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 I was reading from a Fatal review. That's what it was. It was a Fatal review, but um, it's the um, RPG Net. So yeah, I wasn't reading from the review of this one that I've been talking about for. <sighs> Oh god, about 15 minutes now, thereabouts. <clears throat> but the same website has one of the more reasonable, albeit still negative reviews of the, uh, I'm just going to say the, the Raythu RPG. So, um, so yeah, RPGNet has one of the still generally negative, still generally a bit more on the scathing side with its negativity, but um, I remember a couple points. I don't know. Maybe I I should read that again because I might be misremembering. But I remember a couple points where the uh, where the where the dude writing the review he was he he, he did address the fact that <clears throat> that he's definitely not part of the audience for this kind of setting. That he is not part of the intended audience for this setting, and so. Unless I'm mixing him up with somebody else who did a review. But I think it's the RPG Net. I think it's the review hosted on RPG Net that's a little bit on the gentler side of a still scathing review of the Raytheon RPG. But yeah, um, 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 I can't remember if Jean Pierre said that he did find a pirated PDF of the Raytheon RPG because he knew from my Instagram post that it is long out of print. But shit, he could figure that out looking on Amazon for a copy. Like, it is long out of print. I think the only copy um, listed theoretically for sale on Amazon is from a third-party seller, obviously. Um, at least $250, I want to say, is what they're, they're asking for it. And like I said, I was able to... Uh, I was able to just, like, you know, pay list price by going to the publisher because, um, I did notice that on the UK version of the website, uh, there were, it was still listed as having, like, two copies left for sale. Um, but then they discovered that there was water damage, and so I got the, like, last pristine copy in existence. <sighs> but, uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, I might be messing up, um, my, um, um, how I remember the RPG Net review of the Raythu RPG. <clears throat> but I do remember I read one review of the, you know, of the... that was, like, slightly metered in its negativity that, you know, like he, uh, uh, like the reviewer, you know, cishead white guy, and he's saying, you know, this is, this is clearly not my setting, but here are some issues I have with the setting and why. I want to say that was an RPG Net review. I really do, but it's... Just watch. It's not. Just watch. Just watch. I'm completely wrong, and it is a completely different... Uh, it's a completely different RPG review site. Just watch. That's... Um, and I want to say it was RPG Net because I, I used to be a 
fairly active regular in the uh, tangency um, portion of their forum and I know um, <clears throat> I would occasionally post on board games section I would um, occasionally post in some of their like special interest um, um, sub forums on there uh, but I was fairly active on tangency um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, for a while, um, and, like, and so I know, uh, or at least as of, like, ten years ago, I knew a few of the moderators of the site really wanted to be a bit more inclusive, or at least wanted to present this image of the, um, um, you know, gamer community as being, you know, diverse, like, they definitely wanted to push that image, so that's why I want to say it was an RPG Net review. But if I'm wrong, which I very well might be, because I've just been ranting in my bathroom for over an hour now. Ah. Uh... <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, Jean-Pierre and I, he and I were talking about maybe running a, a Raythu campaign. It would just be a matter of finding enough people who would be interested in it, and, um, obviously we'd have to do character creation all there because, um, I'm the only one <laughs> with a book. <laughs> I'm the only one with a book, and I doubt everybody would have luck, you know, everybody who was interested anyway would have luck finding a, um, what's it called? Uh, finding a pirated PDF of it. And I know very few people, if any, who would be interested would be anywhere near interested in paying the uh, the price the asking price um, for the one copy on a, from a third party seller on Amazon and that's like even if it exists because this could just be somebody you know putting up a listing of a rare out of print RPG just to see if somebody is foolish enough to pay well over two hundred fifty dollars for <laughs> for it. And then just be all like, I don't know, <laughs> maybe got lost in the mail, who knows? Uh, but, um, but then what happens? Um, I don't know, I think I should wrap up and start scripting that other book review that I'm behind on. I, I've also been, uh, been formally tagged by another big enough YouTuber in the goth tube. Uh, Amy Necrotique tagged me for the goth industrial, uh, club tag. And I've got a few interesting answers, um for that, especially because my my upbringing, especially in the uh, in, in the goth community, has been a bit diverse. My uh, my um, my maternal grandparents were from England. Um, my um, my mother was a registered nurse, retired groupie. Retired Frank Zappa groupie, of all things, too. Um, my father hopped freights through the 60s and literally met all of his, all four of his wives through, through Alcoholics Anonymous, or at least through being an alcoholic in some way. <laughs> um, usually, yeah, yeah, all, no, yeah, all through um, Alcoholics Anonymous in some way. They, he met all all four of his wives, um, in some way through Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, his, and, um, and I lived with my, uh, during the summers through junior high and high school, I lived with my eldest, uh, half-sister from my mother's side, and yes, that's a groupie baby, <laughs> and brother-in-law in London, like, I would live there during the summers, and so, um, but then I would go through the school year, in rural Michigan, <laughs> where, um, yeah, and, uh, and until the age of 12, I grew up in Metro Detroit, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, piece this all together as just one single upload, um, and, uh, if not, I'll just scrap the whole thing, because I don't think it's worth doing two uploads. I don't know. I don't know. You people are weird. You watch weird things. Pe people, when I was still live-streaming uh, Jigsaw Puzzles until 
shit got weird between the uh, the minimum subscriber count for mobile um, uh, streaming and um, and um and um and what and uh, and and the buffering issue that my Wi-Fi has in here and it's like there should be no reason for it but it happens right it exists this buffering issue so like I said um that uh um 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 it's like but uh but still so, yeah so like when I still like live streamed doing jigsaw puzzles people would watch that people would watch that like I could be silent and not say anything and yet like there are people watching me do that and I know that there are people just like watching me do that rather than like hanging out and like um, chatting with each other in the live chat portion of the stream uh, because there would be far more people watching than there would be active in the chat and that is just so weird to me I'm like really people want to watch like an aging Nancy boy past his prime doing jigsaw puzzles in his kitchen like the internet is full of weird people who like weird things. I I'll just put it that way. I mean, if it, if it wasn't for the internet, like, we would not know cake farts. Like, and, and if you don't know cake farts for some reason, A, you're probably too young to be watching my channel. <laughs> um, <I laughs> and while I am, you know, I mean, yeah, I totally believe that Elder Goth should embrace the young blood, um, in, in all ways, but at the same time, I got serious case of potty mouth, so, um, y you might not wanna, <laughs> if you're under, like, you know, the age of 16 or something, um, or at least 14, I don't know, I, I don't think I had to do anything too controversial for somebody in, like, 8th grade, freshman in high school, but, um, but yeah, if you're on, if you're, if you're, Younger than junior high or something, you probably shouldn't be watching me. I I just I talk about all sorts of stuff and nonsense. But uh, but yeah, um, yeah. If you don't know, if you're not aware of cake farts, you're either too young to be watching my channel, or you're just so innocent in your perception of the world, especially on the internet. I don't know what you're getting out of this. Like I. I could probably very easily corrupt you just like going through what books I'm, you know, going to be donating to the uh, to the uh, um, 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 to the local um, um, witch and pagan meetup LFL that my friend Mara totes back and forth with her between meetups. Uh, you know, I don't know, just like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, um, but yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go see if I can upload this, and if it can, cool. Um, either way, I'm gonna go out and script the talking points I want to make for, uh, the, uh, the book review of Student of Kaimi, so I guess that's it. Uh, hopefully this will all be one thing. If not, um, like I said, it, I'll just delete it all and it won't ever see the light of day, and because... I know what my phone is capable of, and yeah, yeah, I really wish that it should have ended in a way where I would have had even just barely enough time to make going out worth the, you know, worth the effort. Uh, yeah, if I get less than two hours at the club um, between, uh, um, 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 if I get less than two hours at the club uh, between, like, arriving and leaving, I feel like it's a wasted night, you know, and if that's the case, I want to leave early enough to get the bus home, you know, be able to get the bus home anyway. And it's like, I don't know, I guess I could have called a night ride at 1.30 instead of 1, but like I said, it's it can take up to an hour for the night ride cab to come pick you up. In which case, I would be sitting outside the club for up to half an hour after they close. <laughs> so, it's like, what is really the best time to call them? Unless I want to um, stay until close and then follow everybody to the uh, um, the pizza place around the corner. 
which is often open until at least 3, but at the same time it's like, eh, I kind of want to get home before 2.30 to feed the cats and do whatever else I need to do at home. So I guess, oh shit, that's how long I've been recording. I know um, it already shut me off once, and that usually does things after an hour, so yeah. All right, um, oh, kitty, please don't. On the good side, I get to do laundry tonight, right? All right. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna try, like, all right, if, uh, if you enjoyed all of this crap and stuff that I go rambling on for hours and hours and hours about, uh, feel free to, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell notification, and YouTube might alert you every once in a while when I do a video, um, or at least once every other video, who knows, I hear weird things from different people. And, uh, if you have more dollars than cents, I have a Patreon, which I don't really plug very much because I don't do a whole lot with it, but I've got two, um, patrons on there, um, so, uh, I don't know, maybe, and, uh, so, yeah, now we're going into the third reel of sorts, and, uh, yeah, um, uh, take care of yourselves, and... Uh, may whatever gods you hold dear treat you exactly as you deserve, and if you're one of my atheist subscribers, may you have the exact kind of day you deserve. Alright, take care. Bats and kisses!